Sir, if you can hear me, please put your gun down. We don't want anybody else hurt. Uvalde Schools Police Chief Pete Arredondo was among the first to arrive after a gunman opened fire at Robb Elementary. Wait, Chief is in there. Chief's in charge right now. Hold on. His slow moving and botched response as on site commander, while he and hundreds of others waited for more than 70 minutes before confronting and killing the shooter, was broadly condemned in multiple investigations and led to his eventual dismissal. So we did, we cleared off the rest of the building. So we... Reports found Arredondo wasted precious time during the shooting. What are we doing here? And even directed officers at several points to delay making entry into classrooms as shots rang out and terrified children made calls to 911. For Jesse Rizzo, whose niece, nine-year-old Jackie Cazares, was killed, Arredondo's arrest means accountability. It's an emotional day. It's something that we've been waiting for a long time. He says the indictment is not enough. And I'm surprised that a lot of other officers weren't charged. Brett Cross agrees. His 10-year-old Uzziah had dreams of becoming a police officer. Thursday, Cross stood outside the jailhouse, hoping to send Arredondo a message. I wanted him to, to see me, and I know he saw me. And I know that he saw the sign that I was carrying, which is the same sign that I used two years ago when we first started protesting for him to get fired. And it said, their blood is on Pete's hands. And I believe that 100%. There are reports another officer, Adrian Gonzalez, was indicted on similar charges. Of course, there were hundreds of officers involved in this response, close to 400. No word yet on whether more indictments are coming. Janet Shamley in CBS News, Uvalde.